everyone and welcome back to my channel at home with shell and to a vlog of our one week stay at the icos resort in andalusia spain i have done a full review of the resort separately which i will link down below if you want a more detailed review as this one is more of a vlog style sharing our week with you time at the hotel and also exploring the local area I really hope that you enjoy this video as much as we enjoyed our holiday and if you are going or thinking of going it gives you an idea of what to expect. So we arrived at Icos Andalusia yesterday and we've had such a wonderful couple of days. I kept meaning to vlog and I just haven't really um, started vlogging that much. I'm just in the room at the minute. We're stopping in the family suite. So we're on holiday with a couple of our friends and their son as well. Um, and it's basically two interjoining rooms. I'll give you a bit of a tour of the room probably in the morning as well. So we're just about to go off for dinner now. We're actually eating at the French restaurant tonight. The last couple of days have been so nice. So we arrived we probably arrived here around midday on Friday and then after we checked in which was super easy you get arrival drinks which was really nice and then we went to the buffet and had lunch there such a huge selection and we sat outside overlooking the sea it was just so lovely and then in the evening we had dinner at the I think it's um, Anaya which is basically the Asian restaurant with the big maple tree um, there which was just lovely really nice food really good service one thing I really like actually is there is a massive selection of wines even when I was at the buffet they basically said so I normally drink Sauvignon Blanc for example and then they brought me over different ones to try um, yeah it was just absolutely amazing then after dinner we went to one of the shows and they had a Michael Jackson show on last night which was actually quite a lot of fun just playing some of their classics and everyone was sitting around and dancing and we had a few cocktails and then after that obviously went to bed um, this morning we had breakfast in the buffet restaurant where there is again a huge selection of food all the breakfast stuff that you can think of so all the normal like eggs and sausages and bacon and then they've got a huge selection of like smoothies and juices they've got a massive bread station there cereals um like cold meats literally everything that you could think of and that's just at the buffet breakfast and we obviously haven't tried any of the other restaurants where you can just order breakfast we then spent the morning just chilling by the pool which we went to the kids pool so there's a kids splash pool and then a family pool so we just spent the time at the family pool and the sunbeds are so comfortable as well they've got they're really nice and padded and they come with a little pillow that you can lay on and the kids just had such a great time just in and out of the pool and then for lunch we went to fresco which is literally right next door to the family pool um and just had a, a couple of so i just had a starter we had the arancini balls to start off with um then i had a salad arabella had a pizza and again really nice food and one thing that is amazing um we'd actually seen it on the reviews but we just asked her if we could have a glass of champagne and then they bring the whole bottle over which just seems crazy because you never get a bottle of champagne included in an all-inclusive so yeah then after that we just spent the rest of the afternoon just chilling at the pool um nick my partner and the other people that we're with they went to the gym as well and said the gym is really nice um yeah and as i said we are now off for dinner in the french restaurant tonight so i'll let you know how that is The restaurant was so lovely you can sit inside or out but we actually sat inside as it was really windy on this particular evening the decor in here is lovely it actually feels like you just sat in the south of france somewhere and it also looks out over the ocean there's so many wines to choose from you could also ask for recommendations or pick one off the menu and they're all included To start, Nick had the beef tartare and I had mussels in a white wine sauce. Arabella enjoyed a big bowl of tomato pasta and for mains, Nick had lamb shank with mash and I had a cod in pea puree and just look at the presentation too. We even had a cheese board for dessert with some port.
after dinner we headed to the main bar to get a couple of drinks and then some flamenco dancers performing the bar here is absolutely stunning it's such a feature all branded drinks are included and they make the best cocktails of this bar too So they've got these little cabinets around that have basically just people put their books in them to recycle them which is actually such a good idea because most of the time when you come on holiday and read a book you don't want to read it again. Great idea. All it was quiet in the deep dark woods. The mouse found a nut and the nuts looked good. The end. We had breakfast at the buffet then headed to the pools and spent the morning at the kids pool and then the splash pool which the kids absolutely loved and it's ideal as it's nice and shallow here too. After a splash in the pools we got some hot popcorn and slushes, I love this little hut that they have where you can get ice cream, sweets, popcorn, it's such a great idea and obviously the kids love it. Normal popcorn and colourful popcorn. <laughs> right, you take, one for you. How a friend we've gone on holiday with has just got back from golf. As part of your stay here, you get a complimentary green fee, which is great for any golfers that are planning on going here. It was then time for lunch and decided to head down to the beach restaurant, Chewing Gitos. The restaurant is only actually open for lunch and has a really relaxed vibe, obviously being on the beach too. This is our first time actually venturing down towards the beach area and as you can see they have loads of water sports and activities and then after lunch we headed to the park and this area is also where a lot of the other activities are based such as the tennis courts, the bike hire, table tennis, volleyball and also the wellbeing platform. Bella. Lemonade with How does it taste? Good. Is that a thumbs up? Thumbs up from you. I'm just having a little coffee break after dinner and the hey, boys. Stop. Where's this Daddy gone? Dinner. After lunch, sorry. And Daddy's gone to sort the car out for tomorrow, hasn't he? We are. This what bar car? is so lovely. What car? So after lunch we just had a little wander around the hotel, we played in the park for a little bit with Arabella um, and then we just had a coffee and a drink at the bar 
now we're just coming to a different swimming pool. So we're at the Central Swimming Pool today, which is actually really nice. I wouldn't, it's not as kids, there are still kids here, um, but it's not the family pool. It's just a little bit more chilled out and it's not, um, it's not like, like a shallower area or anything, but yeah, it's really nice. I know I still haven't showed you it, but Arabella's just about to have a nap. So we're going to sit on the balcony, and honestly, I need to show you the size of this balcony. So we are in a family suite, and um, we've got our family suite here, and then our friends are in the one next door, but there's like an adjoining door. And the balcony is absolutely huge. Um, let me turn you around. So this is one side of the balcony, so our friends are in here. Um, and then you can see there's a big double bed there, table, got a few bits to dry our washing on here some nice little lanterns and then it just continues all the way down here honestly it's absolutely huge and look at the view look straight out onto the sea and then the swimming pool and the rest of the hotel this way so whilst Arabella's having a little nap we just thought we'd sit out on the balcony and have a couple of beers We've just got ready and now we are off to Seasons tonight, which is in the Lux area. Seasons is actually in the deluxe area of the hotel. So this is the deluxe pool, which does look incredible and can only obviously be used by those in deluxe. However, the restaurant Seasons can be used by everyone in the hotel for dinner. You just obviously need to book and reserve how you would normally. For my starter I had burrata with fruit and mine was a delicious parmesan crusted chicken dish with artichokes on the side. If it does get a little bit chilly in any of the restaurants or the bars then you can request a blanket which I think is a really nice touch. It's quite nice to sit outside but sometimes there can be a little bit of a chill in the air. just finished dinner at Seasons which was absolutely delicious that's in the deluxe area where we are at the moment um, then they've got a kids show on tonight down at the theatre so we're just heading there now I think it's like a Disney themed one so it should hopefully be a really nice evening and then we're hiring a car tomorrow to take out for the day it's just so pretty the landscape in here is amazing. Yeah. 
for the day today and we've got some packed lunch to take with us as well. We've got gave us these nice little bags. Oh hey. Hey. Are you ready Bella? We're on our fourth day of our holiday today. Um, we've just had breakfast and we just had breakfast at the buffet today and now we are off exploring. So when you're stopping at Icos, um, part of the package that they offer is that you get to basically have a car for the day. So I think that you get one car whilst you're here. Um, so you, they've got basically various different Teslas that you can rent and just take out for the day. All you obviously need to do is bring your driving license with you. Um, they provide car seats if you've got children with you as well and you can just basically take it out for the entire day which is pretty cool um, so today we are off to Rhonda um, which is meant to be really beautiful it's about an hour away from the resort it's set on top of a big mountain so you're meant to have really nice views from there it's a really old historic town so we're off there for the day and yeah just going to basically explore We arrived in Ronda after around an hour. The roads are very windy, so if you suffer from any travel sickness, it may be best to get the train. Once we arrived, we were quite peckish, so sat down in this little park area and ate our lunch. A nice roll, some cakes, some fruit. What have you got, Arabella? A sandwich? Very nice. Is where the bull ring is. We're just going to see if we can actually go inside and have a tour of it now. So we've just come in the bull ring to have a look. It was it was 9.50 euros to get in and the kids were free as well. Wow. There's also a museum in the bull ring and walking around was really interesting, reading about the history of the bullfighting and I was honestly shocked that it still went on today, I had no idea. I believe that once a year during a festival you can still watch the bullfighting which to be honest yeah I find it a little bit weird. <laughs> After walking to the bridge which spans the canyon and is truly remarkable, we stopped for a well needed Diet Coke break to admire the site. Honestly, Rhonda is such a beautiful town, I would definitely recommend visiting. On the way back to the car we wandered around the town a little bit more, obviously had to stop for an ice cream and then headed back to our hotel. When we returned to the hotel, we quickly got ready and headed to Fresco for our dinner reservation. Whilst we were deciding what to order, they brought us some drinks over and some focaccia and oils. I had the beef carpaccio to start and then a delicious beef in red wine sauce with the nicest tiramisu followed by some limoncello. For breakfast this morning we actually headed to Fresco and decided to sit inside as it was quite windy this morning. This has been our first a la carte breakfast since we've been here and I have to say I was very impressed. Arabella, where are we going? To the park! a 
little play in the park, we took the kids to try them at Kids Club as we had wine tasting at the hotel booked in the afternoon, which is also included. The Kids Clubs are great and there's a little purpose built village just for the kids. If children are over four years old, it's free and you can also book in the crush if they're younger and I believe there is also a teens club for older children too. So today we've just had breakfast, we went for an a la carte breakfast today, so I think there's quite a few different restaurants where you can have an a la carte breakfast, and we went for breakfast at Fresco. It was so windy this morning, so we actually ended up sitting inside, but again, as always, I feel like a broken record. The food was incredible. Um, and then we've got wine tasting this afternoon, so we were putting the kids into Kids Club. So Arabella's gone there, the Kids Club is amazing. There's like a whole holiday village thing for the kids. I've just been chilling by the pool and I've just come back to give you a bit of a room tour. So we are stopping in room 7215 um, and we're stopping in a family suite. So we weren't originally meant to come to this hotel. We were meant to go to the hotel in Odyssea. Um, it wasn't built in time so we got changed to this hotel and as part of that we got a room upgrade as well which is amazing. Um, so when you come in there's basically two doors, um, one for each room. Um, then I'll show you the bathroom quickly. The bathroom is absolutely massive. So you've got a massive bath down here, you've got two sinks in here but loads of drawers and stuff, you get all of the toiletries that you need in here, so you get even soap, shampoo, conditioner, lots of mirrors with like lights and everything, then we have the toilet, the toilets in here, and then there's a rain shower in here, so the shower is huge, and as you can see, you get all of your shampoos, conditioners, body wash and everything here, which is actually really handy um, and it smells amazing so you don't need to bring anything. Then moving on from the bathroom into the hallway bit, so then this is the door that basically goes into the next room which is exactly the same setup as in here. Um, so it's a huge room, I don't know how well it picks up on camera but it's absolutely massive. So you have this area here which is almost like the, the lounge area, um, so we've been here a few days so it's a bit messy. Um, and then this basically then pulls out into basically like a double bed but we'll just tuck that under for now. So this is where Arabella sleeps. So then there's a TV in the middle here which is really handy because it actually spins round. So if you've got kids here or you just want to chill on the sofa and watch TV then you can or if you want to watch TV in bed then you can watch it from your bed as well so that's, a, that's pretty cool. Then over here we've got the main bed area. I'm not sure what size it is, I'd probably say maybe like a super king. Um, all three of us have slept in it and there was more than enough room in there. Um, one thing that is actually really cool about this hotel is that they have a pillow menu. So there's different pillows depending on whether you like a firmer pillow or a softer pillow. Um, and you can just basically request that. Um, we've got all the plugs. There's also USB um, USBs in the sockets as well, which is pretty handy. And then moving over, oh, I'll just show you. So there is, there's quite a bit of storage space. Um, and then in here, you get everything that you need for the coffee machine. So you get an espresso machine, um, and then you've got your fridge. So with your fridge as well, there's also like a little mini bar in it, and you can request certain alcohol. So we've requested wine before we came. There's all your soft drinks, and then there's like individual spirits here. And then we also requested um, some Jack Daniels, um, and they've also got some gin as well, which is in the other room. So that is all included and obviously replenished every single day. Um, what else do I need to show you? Then wardrobes. So this has just got some shelves in here and you've got like drawers and stuff which has got all of your glasses in. So you've got wine glasses, champagne glasses. When we arrived actually they did give us a glass of champagne. You've got your a bottle of champagne rather in the bed in the room. Um, and then you've got a safe in there. So again, more wardrobe space. And then you've got a double wardrobe here and you've got robes and slippers that are included as well. And um, then I think I've already shown you the balcony, but I'll just briefly show you the balcony because we've got an amazing view and the balcony is absolutely huge. So as I said, this is a family suite and we've got two of them. Um, so you've got a big bed like this at one end and then 
there's a couple of tables in the middle and then there's somewhere to dry your clothes and bits and then all the way down here it's huge <laughs> another table and then we've got another bed as well which is really nice and you can see the views here are incredible it just looks all over the resort and then you can obviously see the sea from there too so yeah really impressed with this room i love it Whilst Arabella was in Kids Club, we thought that we would try out the adults only cocktail bar. The adults bar, what is it, a banana, a banana mama? How's your adult only cocktail? Oh! <laughs> of the rooms here that has the private pool how nice does that look we've just picked Arabella up from kids club haven't we did you have a lovely time yeah yeah that was a thumbs up <laughs> so we only put her in for one session so she'll have to come to the wine tasting with us later on what have you got me Nachos around the pool. Just on our way to wine tasting now. The kids should be in the kids' club, but they're with us. So we've got their iPads <laughs> and some ice creams for them. So you can ask for whatever you want, except how old they are. <laughs> okay. Champagne region is exactly like the south of England in terms of climate and soil. So, this is a reserva cup and this wine was sent from Spain. Okay. Okay. So, this is the After wine tasting and we'd got ready, we had dinner booked at the beach club. I loved the decor in here and it had such a good vibe. The grilled octopus that I had for my starter was incredible and was my favourite starter that I had the entire time we were here. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that! Wow! Thank you! <laughs> left the kids at breakfast obviously with Nick as well and now I'm off for a massage at the spa which I cannot wait for.
today we're hiring bikes for the day. So when you're at the hotel, it's completely complimentary. We've got a couple of bikes um, with the kids on the back. Are you excited to get on a bike, Arabella? Are you going on daddy's? Yeah? yeah. to Estepona. The bike ride wasn't too bad here. It probably took around 35 minutes in total, but the saddle was so uncomfortable. So yeah, we've got sore bottoms. So we're just about to go and find somewhere, grab a Diet Coke. Estepona for a while which is so pretty and then found a lovely restaurant in this square which was quite highly rated and the food was delicious. We actually later discovered that the restaurant is part of Icos' dine out option so you can come here in the evening included in your price. Three of us had paella which was so tasty and they brought it over and dished it all up in front of you which was a really nice touch. After our lunch, we've just stopped for a quick ice cream. Again, the flavours here are so yummy. We've had a really lovely day in Estepona and now we're just off to go and find the bikes and then make our way back to the hotel. Um, so yeah, we cycled back after wandering around the town for a little while and then we just chilled around the pool, had a little swim in the pool and then have got ready for dinner. Tonight we're going to Oliver and it's also the white night so you can see we're all dressed in our white clothes tonight. I think it's most Wednesdays they have a white night here where everyone dresses up in white and they have a little bit of a party so looking forward to that and their dinner which I believe is their Spanish restaurant. Mm. So we're up a little bit earlier today, just going for the, to the buffet for breakfast, and then we're off to Porta Benus for the day. Every single day at 10 a.m. There's a bus that comes just outside the hotel. The hotel obviously put it on, um, and it goes into Port of Venus and then picks you up at one o'clock. And I believe there's one that goes later on into the evening as well, um, so you can spend the evening there. And then there's another bus that goes into Estepona, which is where we were yesterday. Um, but obviously, we chose to cycle instead. Porta Venus is essentially a luxury marina and shopping complex full of yachts and all of the designer shops lining the port. The 
beaches here are also lovely. The beaches now near our hotel are quite stony, whereas the sand here seems much finer and there are also a couple of beach clubs too. The beach here is actually really nice. It feels a lot sandier than the beach um, near our hotel. And the water seems so much calmer. It's almost like in this little alcove bit. We popped into this cool little bar on the beachfront which was like a pirate ship and did some cool drinks too. Gracias. Hello, what have you got? Look at that. Is that good? Yeah. Wow, that's a fruit as well. That's a really special drink. Separate to the shops down the marina, there's also a shopping precinct with lots of high street stores. When we got back to the hotel, we went to the beach club for lunch. I really love the vibe in here. It's always such a good time and they have a DJ on too. <laughs> Honestly, the food here is incredible and so vast. They often bring food to you when you're around the pool, fruit kebab, or today, for example, it was fresh donuts. This is like an infinity pool. And that's like a private garden. So today we are trying to go in every single pool. We've been in the normal central pool, we've been kids pool, and then we've just come to the two, I don't know what they're called, they're like the infinity pools at the front. It's really quiet in here, so don't want to talk too loud or be too loud. How warm there. is it? so warm as well these are definitely i mean i think all the pools are heated to 27 degrees apparently but these two definitely feel warmer than the others and it's really calm and relaxing down here hence the time not to speak too loud <laughs> Our final night we tried the last restaurant which is Uzo the Greek restaurant. We sat outside but the decor inside is so beautiful with the ceramic pots just hanging from the ceiling. I feel like I talk about the decor here all the time but it's just so nice and the theming in each of the restaurants is also incredible. <laughs> good view at night isn't it one thing that is actually really cute what they do here is when you come back they do like a little turn down service so they turn your bed over they put your little lights on basically read you all your towels and everything as well and then they give you these little like biscuity type things which say sweet dreams on them just a nice little touch So 
before our final breakfast today, we've just decided to come to the buffet. And then, yeah, we leave at around five o'clock this evening. They've got all of the water activities out today, so you can do like paddle boarding, you can get the little pedalo with a like a slide on it as well. Um, it's a lot calmer the last couple of days, so yeah, I wouldn't be so bothered about going on the sea, but the sand is just awful. <laughs> the sand has got full of stones, it really hurts your feet when you walk on it. So we're just about to head for lunch, our final lunch of the holiday, and today we're heading to the Gwen on the Beach, the Chimmy Shingle, I think it is. Paella for lunch for our final day. Standard, Arabella's having pizza. So as you know, it's our final day today and we are just about to check out. So we'll just use one of the courtesy rooms. Well, it's not actually a courtesy room. There's courtesy rooms downstairs, which you can book just to, I think you can book about an hour if you want to freshen up and get ready for your flight home. But there wasn't one available today, so they found us a room instead. So I just thought I would show you quickly. This is, I believe, like a standard normal room in the in, um, in apartment block three. So this is like the opposite side of where we are and this gets the sun in the morning whereas the other side gets it in the evening. So it's a little bit smaller than our one because we obviously had the family suite but you get your bed in here, you obviously still get wardrobe space, you get your fridge, coffee machine, TV and everything and then you get a sofa area here, a desk area which you can sit and get ready in as well which I really like this huge mirror there and then you get a balcony again not as big as our balcony that we had still a really reasonably sized balcony with a bed on it and um, somewhere to dry and then this view is so this is kind of slanted and then you get a view basically over the pool and then all into our sea as well so we're all ready now we're about to go and check out we're probably just going to grab a quick coffee before our transfer gets here we just booked a private transfer so that gets here in about 20 minutes so we haven't got long grab a coffee and then we are off to the airport so i really hope that you have enjoyed this vlog it's been useful especially if you are coming here i know i was trying to look for vlogs and really struggled so yeah hopefully this one has been useful and given you some ideas on what the hotel's like and things that you can do whilst you are here as well well thank you for watching and hopefully i'll see you all again soon bye